Hey, Dustin Tibbetts here, financial advisor with Jazz Wealth Managers. How many of you think that maybe we should redo that intro? Because, like, my God, look, I mean, that was years ago. We've been doing this now over six years, I believe. And I appreciate all of you guys following along. And, of course, all of you that have joined us at Jazz Wealth. Let's get down to the goods. Have you ever had to take money out of an IRA early? Right? In particular, a Roth IRA. Now, a lot of people use a Roth IRA or start a Roth IRA with the intent of knowing or with knowing that they can take money out. Uh, this is a cause for huge confusion on the internet. If you put a dollar, let's say you start one today or you convince your kid to start a Roth IRA, you put a dollar in or they put a dollar in, you can take it right back out. There's no tax. There's no penalty. There's no questions asked. You just put it in, take it out, right? So a lot of kids, you can convince them to get started or a lot of the 30-somethings that maybe forgot to start investing and uh, need to get started, you can convince them to start a Roth because if something goes wrong, you can just take it out and there's no penalty. Well, what's that sequence of withdrawals? Like at what point do I start paying a penalty? Because I always hear the 10% plus the taxes and all that. So today what I want to do is really basically just a long way of saying, I'm going to take you through that real quick here. All right? So let's go over to the old board. Um, so this is for early withdrawals. Again, this is if you are sub 59 and a half, right? At least initially, and then we'll get into the rest of it there. All right, so let's just say you are 35, right? You join Jazz Wealth, uh, thank you, and you put in, uh, you start off and you say, well, I'm gonna put in $4,000. That's gonna get my retirement life kick started. Super happy about this, it's gonna be great. Gonna give a dose straight. Uh, okay. Well, let's say some time passes and this 4,000 now, maybe not this year, but let's say the 4,000 turns into 48, 7, 1, and 63 cents. I'm just going to, I'm just trying to make it obvious that there was some growth in there to some degree. $871.63. Okay, now you say, oh, I had a bad year. I need to take some money out. And you go, well, okay, how much do you need to take out? You put in 4,000, so you already know that you can take out up to 4,000. No one's gonna ask any questions, stop you. There's not gonna be any tax or anything. That's good to go. If you touch the 871.63, then that's actually what's gonna be uh, penalized and taxed, right? Now stay with me because there's one extra step to this. You would pay, what, 80, 87 bucks on that in tax, plus it would be counted as income. So maybe a few more dollars there. But let's take it a step further because a lot of you do regular uh, contributions. So this would just be your normal up to the 6,000 this year. Some of you do backdoor and conversions in a given year, right? And then over here, maybe we have your earnings, right? That you made over time. So you've got 6,000, you can convert any amount and your earnings of course can be any amount as well. What the IRS does here is they say, we're going to force the path that you withdraw. So you could have hundreds of thousands of dollars in a Roth IRA. If you make an early withdrawal, any of your contributions come out first. Thousand, 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 whatever you'd put in over the years, all that comes out first. At such a point, and thank goodness we tracked this for you because <laughs> this could get a little crazy, here we go. Uh, at any point that you've withdrawn, uh, withdrawn all of your contributions, but you still need more money, now we move on to these dollars. You don't go right to earnings yet. It's the dollars that have been, uh, you, maybe you did a backdoor or you did a conversion over the years. Now remember, as you do these, there's a five-year rule that attaches to it that says that if you did a conversion, it has to have been in there from five years from the beginning of that calendar year. In other words, if you did a conversion four years ago in November, we'd actually use January as your example. And so, you know, the next January, you'd be allowed to take the money out. So you're going over here next. All these dollars would then come out as a part of your uh, emergency early Roth withdrawal. If any of these do not fit the five-year rule and you're not eligible, now 10% penalty, and you've got your taxes, of course, right? If the conversions or backdoors were done within five years, then you have no, you know, you're free to take that out as well. You just gotta wait the five years. From here, you go on to earnings. So let's say we depleted all this, we depleted all this. Now we're on to the earnings. If that happens to be the case, if there's no way around it. Now you have the penalty and the income tax on the growth there, all right? So 
all of that basically to just say, you are welcome to take money out. You really ideally just want to take money out that you've either contributed over the years or converted and it has been five years since you've done that or at least five years since the beginning of the calendar year that you did it. Um, if all this is confusing, I hope you'll check us out at jazzwealth.com. We're fiduciary financial advisors where basically it means we have nothing else to sell but ourselves. We never ask you to buy anything. We don't make money off of you and doing anything crazy like buying certain investments. We build our own funds here, so there's not even any expense ratios or anything like that. Um, we just kind of wanted to be the, the one fully transparent company that's like, hey, your family, you want to join us? Come join us. If not, I appreciate you watching. Maybe you hit the subscribe button and stuff. Oh, wait, maybe somebody else says. Hey, you made it to the end. That's awesome. Well, if you want to check out more geeky stuff, be sure to check out that video over there. Also, if you could subscribe, that really help us out. We're financial advisors that love to teach, and you'll find all kinds of free stuff on our videos. And remember, keep your dope straight. Yeah, I did it.